Hello and welcome back to 1909 Games. My name is Jan and today we will destroy some objects without code. No, but for real, if you have a game and you want to destroy something by colliding with something else, then I will show you how to do this with Bolt just right now. So at first I have a, just a normal Unity project in the URP and I have installed Bolt. How to do that you can see somewhere up here. So now let's just right click in our scenes and create a new scene. And here we go with scene. Okay, let's call this destroy okay we can open it up and you see we have an empty scene so nothing special there main camera directional light what i would like to do i would like to add a plane at first so a 3d object plane here we go and now i want to have two objects one that gets destroyed and another that falls down to destroy that object for the falling object i would like to have a 3d object and a sphere just like this bring it up a bit let's see oh here we go and bring it up a bit what we need on this one is a rigid body. So what I want to do is I want to replace everything. So the plane and the sphere as well. Let's bring it up a bit. And now we can grab our camera. And let's see what we can do. Here we go. Here we see what's going on. I, I would like to go up a bit more just like this. And now let's hit play and you will see that the ball right here will fall down okay but now we need a second object that will get destroyed so what i want to do is i want to add oh uh, let's say in this uh, time it's a cube i want to replace it okay let's bring it up a bit and let's I, I would like to make it a little bit bigger just like this so and if we pray plus it will not fall down because it doesn't have a rigid body but the ball will just land on it. And in this exact moment, I want this to get destroyed. So what we have to do is on our cube right here, let's add a component. Let's get rid of this. And you see, if you have nothing typed in up here, we have this bold folder right here. And let's add a flow machine. We don't have any flow machine, so let's make a new flow machine. Just let's go to the scenes. So this is uh, the folder for your Unity project. So let's go just to scenes and let's call it destroy. So and now what we can do is we can edit the graph. So let's just delete what we have right here. We have the start function and the update function. But what we want to have in this case, we want to have an on collision enter on. And you see here we have on collision exit, stay and enter. And the same for 2D. But we are in the 3D space. So let's say on collision enter right here. What will be at the end? I like to think about, okay, we have our start point right here. So if we collide with something, then what will happen at the end? At the end, let's go a little bit to the right right here. We will destroy an object which object do we want to destroy that's what we can define here so let's just drag this out you see you can just left click on it and drag it out and then we can just search for self or you see it right here we want to destroy this plate so self okay but there needs to be a condition and the condition will be that just the sphere can destroy this cube so we want to tag the sphere so what we want to have at first is we want to add a unit a branch if the condition that we will define in a moment is true, then we want to destroy the object. First, what we want to do on collision enter, then we want to check if the condition is true or false, and then we want to destroy it. And what is the condition? The condition is if the tag of the object that touches or that collides with our cube is the same tag like we want to define right now. Okay, so let's just drag it out right here. We want to find this by a string. The tag is a text and there will be a string. So, string. We want to see if a string equals another string. So the string A and B right here. You see you can have two values A and B. So if the value A is the same like the value B, then we will have it true. So the first value is the tag that the object has that will touch it. So we have here the collider. So on collision enter, the collider of the other object should be a tag. So let's get this tag. And then we can, you see it's orange right here at this point and here as well, so we can connect it. And now the value A is a tag that we get from this object. And the tag B, I want just to have a string. And let's call it death for destroy. And now let's save it. So what we have to do now is we want to add a tag for the sphere. So let's go to the sphere or let's select it. And under tags, we don't have the destroy tag. So let's add a new tag on the plus icon right here. Just death. Oh. 
death. <laughs> Let's save it. And now what you have to do is you have to go back to the sphere and you see it's not tagged like this. Even though we add a tag and you might think that it will automatically connect to the sphere it's not okay so you have to manually do it again okay and now let's hit play and see if the logic just works should work shouldn't be a problem so what will happen the ball will fall down and it will touch the cube and the cube will disappear and the ball will fall further down to this plane so let's see let's maximize on play and voila, you can destroy an object by colliding with another object. It's that simple. I have some links in the description so you can download both. You can go to the asset store there. And for my courses, they are more art related. And please leave a like and a comment. So what you want to see next. And please subscribe to the channel. It would help a lot. I really want to build this up right now. I will have hopefully five videos a week. I cannot 100% promise it, but I really give my best. I really work hard on this. So please leave a like, leave a comment, everything you know, and I'll see you the next time. Bye.